Hi, Dr. Irvin here, and I'm going to talk about the Bristol stool chart. I'm talking about a subject, that is to say, your stool, there are other, other names for it, but people uh, kind of shy away from talking about it in public, but that's not me, because I think there's useful information, and if we're pushing the gut microbiome, we need to discuss as many indicators as reasonably uh, possible, and there's nothing foul about what I'm going to say. Uh, now, there are two things going on here that uh, the stool, uh, crystal stool chart may help us with. Number one is the emphasis on gut microbiome issues. It is estimated that 93% of chronic illnesses come from the gut or centered in the gut. That's a lot. And that covers most of what's wrong with you. Um, number two is that the, uh, I believe that you should have follow this kind of, we should observe and measure, imply, and understand what we have as per, pertains to each individual. You can, uh, it makes sense to monitor your blood pressure. You get blood tests at the doctor where he observes and measures. Um, and then he, their implications are made, maybe even diagnosis and then understanding you to carry it further and maybe even some action items. Well, why not add the Bristol stool chart as something you can observe I don't know if you need to do much measurement except maybe in time and like transit time and stuff like that. But you look for the implications of it as it pertains to you and uh, no one else produces your stool as far as I know. And then you come to an understanding how does it improve your uh, the quality of life or what you do, what you eat. And there may be some serious implications. Now the Bristol stool chart has seven stool types. And uh, I left, there'll be a link in the description. Always read the description of my videos because I want my videos to be evergreen. And therefore, I'll make changes, for example, recommendations or newer things that I use or will be in the video description. So always do that. Consider joining my channel as more videos are coming as we cover specific diseases and conditions. Getting back to the Bristol stool chart. Number one, there are seven types. Number one, is like distinct pellets. They're hard, they're firm, associated with constipation. They are chips off the old block, only there's no block. Number two is the uh, chips, the uh, pellets run together. And you have a lumpy, congealed, also probably constipated uh, stool that uh, looks kind of like this. And number three is now more congealing, so you may have actually a formed stool. It still may be a little hard to pass, constipated, and uh, you um, still have, uh, as I said, constipation. Number four is where you want to be. The golden mean is the long-coiled snake. Passes easily, may not be as uh, uh, long in diameter as as the uh, number three, but is the long coil snake. That's where you want to be. Number five is like now the long coil snake is breaking up, and you have maybe uh, pieces, rough edges, uh, and uh, I think of it as uh, uh, figs floating in the water. There's they're more watery. There's no really long stool in any extent. So that's number five. Number six is when the figs become uh, fluffy and soft edges, and they're much easier, uh, they're really easy to pass because they may have a certain watery component. And number seven is your watery stool, which may be explosive uh, associated with diarrhea, but it's it, it could be explosive or not. So what are the implications of this? Well, as you know, the uh, gut, as it as a stool, you, well, as a stool pa uh, passes, you have a transit time and you have issues with the bugs in your gut, and that's a subject for another issue, another videos. But uh, you do want to Take the stool. Uh, take a look at the stool, Bristol stool chart. I would make two comments. Number one is that if you have, uh, if you change your diet, you may get a temporary change in your stool structure from the typical 
and that is not necessarily a bad thing. Then the other thing I want to say is that um, you can use this information to monitor your gut and um, see what's going on with other other symptoms like do you have abdominal pain uh, do you have cramping do you get tired do you fall asleep things like this associated not necessarily caused by but correlated with so take a look at the Bristol stool chart and uh, see if you can't implica implicate it in your life and come to a further understanding of things that are beneficial to you in your health